I haven't yet seen an Eddie Murphy stand-up video for my channel. I think a long time ago, maybe I've seen some of his stuff, but just bits and pieces of it, nothing really too full length. I th think I remember, I mean, I remember knowing about his stand-up routine or, you know, his special, wasn't it called Raw? And knowing his brand of raw humor, I never was really interested to check it out, so it never had. But this is not from Raw. This is apparently his first appearance on the Johnny Carson show. I do not believe I've seen this, and if I did, it was decades ago, and I've completely forgotten about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and press play right now. If you have watched Saturday Night Live the past few months, you already know my next guest. He is, uh, he's emerged as one of the brightest lights of that of the cast on that show, and this is his first time on The Tonight Program. Would you welcome Eddie Murphy? Eddie? I smile. Thank you. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in, um, oh, this is nice, California. I've been out in here for about three days. If anybody see me walking around, I have to explain. I had the same suit on for three days because <laughs> I like this suit. I bought it from the catalog and I enjoy it. Oh, it's January 1st. You ever see those guys modeling clothes in the catalog? You ever see those guys doing the same thing in their suit? Every time I put on a suit, I got to go like this. <laughs> <laughs> I was just outside, standing in the front going. Oh, <laughs> Okay, he's posing. <laughs> you know, anybody ever see those guys that model their underwear in these books? And they smile while they're doing They stand out there going. Yeah. <laughs> Did you notice these guys never have no bulge? You gotta check that out. I was wondering if he was gonna go there. They're standing there in front of millions of people, smiling. <laughs> First of all, If I didn't have no bulge, I would not He's be smiling. Modeling underwear. Wait, 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 wait. He's, okay, I interrupted him. Trying to fill If I didn't have no form. bulge, I would not be modeling no underwear. Oh, wouldn't be modeling any underwear. <laughs> I was going to say I would be smiling. And second of all, I damn sure wouldn't be smiling. Yeah, wait, you did. <laughs> I might be modeling like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, Johnny said something about... Um, buckwheat a little earlier. I was talking about buckwheat. And I did buckwheat on my show, right? And the name buckwheat, I started thinking, right? I'm from a predominantly black family. You don't say. <laughs> and I have yet to run into a relative named buckwheat at a cookout, you know? You can't just walk off the streets and walk up to somebody and say, hey, how you doing? My name's Tom. What's yours? Oh, my name's Buckwheat, man. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Yeah, Buckwheat, that's my name. No, I'm serious. Buck, I ain't got no last name. Buckwheat. I thought that was it. just his nickname I'm serious. on the show. No, Little believe Rascals. me? Ain't that right, Stymie? <laughs> Here's my brother Stymie over here. And don't leave watching me, my other brother. Hold on. Farina! <laughs> yeah, Buckwheat's and Farina. You know how most people name after their father? Me and Farina would name after their father's favorite breakfast. Uh -huh. <laughs> Buckwheat's and Farina. My mama named all the kids after Syria, man. That's my little sister over there. Her name's Shredded Wheat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And uh, those are my twin brothers over there, Quisp and Quake. Right there. <laughs> and that's my littlest brother right there. He's a little slower than everybody else. His name is Special K. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that did. That's my big sister. She a prostitute. Her name is Trix. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Stand, stand next to is my big brother, he's homosexual. His name is Lucky Charms. You might <laughs> <laughs> the way he laughs, too, that laugh. <laughs> I'm going to quit show business. Making my announcement, as I'm going to become a Secret Service man. Mm -hmm. okay. It's the truth. Because they have no black Secret Service men, and we would make better Secret Service men than white people, truthfully. Because we're more menacing. <laughs> we are. See, we have a different rhythm to us. We see somebody that looks suspicious. We just walk over to the guy and say, excuse me, man. Um, you crowd, Mr. President. 
Mr. President. <laughs> That's menacing. <laughs> then I'm gonna run for president because we haven't had any black presidents lately either, have we? Lately. Somebody black should run. It'd be different. We there's nothing to lose. It'd be fun, man. Can't get no worse than it's been the past hundred years. I figured, why not take the risk? Everybody's afraid to run, though, because they know that even though it's 1982, it's still a risky business to be the first black president. You know, you have to give speeches like this. My fellow Americans. Oh, right. <laughs> we the people must get together and join hands. Are you watching these people over here? I don't think they're too happy about this. Oh, my goodness. You won't stand still. <laughs> <laughs> the black dude in the background, hey, that ain't funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm like, I'm not gonna quit the business. It's, I'm having fun. I yeah. bought a new car recently. I ain't gonna say what kind of car it is, but in 82, the cars talk. Did you know that anybody get a new car recently? The cars speak to you. If you leave your lights on, the car will say, Doo! lights are on. Oh. <laughs> what kind and of that's car bad, on? man. I leave my lights on on purpose when I take a girl out. I get out of the car, I say, lights are on. The girl says, did your car say something? I say, yeah, it did. <laughs> but I bought my car from like a black dealer, so it got a different rhythm to it. Oh, no. You leave your lights on, the car say, hey, man, you left your lights on. <laughs> I said the lights is on, man. Mm -hmm. Damn, what, you blind and deaf? <laughs> That basically is the only thing that changed. I still live in the same neighborhood with the new car, and it's kind of tough, man. The other day, I got inside the car and put the key in to start it up, and the car said, say, man, somebody stole your battery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I was going to come over there and talk a little bit, and then I'm going to cut it off real quick. I don't think we're going to see this too much more. Okay, well, that was that was something a little different. It wasn't as hilarious as I thought it would be. And obviously for Eddie Murphy, it's kind of tame because I know that some of his some of his other routines can be pretty raunchy. Like I think I've mentioned before, I never really have watched his, I mean, not just in this video, but in other videos. I think I've mentioned before about Eddie Murphy and you know, knowing that he was a stand-up, but but not really watching too much of his stand-up, that I liked more his movies. So I don't really have anything to compare this to because anything of his I've seen in the past is completely gone from my memory. I, I don't remember anything. I, I remember pictures of him in the performances, but if I saw anything... It wasn't, it wasn't something that stuck with me. <clears throat> so I don't really feel like I have a whole lot more to add to this because it was just kind of, you know, it was just nothing that's really sparking deep commentary. I just figured it'd be kind of interesting to check it out. I knew that he would be tame in this because he was on Johnny Carson. So I knew it wasn't going to go really over the edge into anything, you know, super risque or something like that. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to check it out just because I hadn't done it yet. And it popped up, you know, in my recommended a while back. I've had this in my list for a bit. So I've been kind of enjoying going back and watching some of these older things. Like I've been doing the Siskel and Ebert. I did the old, very old performance of Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lucille Ball. Stuff like that. This is kind of, you know, been fun and interesting. And this stuff, it's its stuff I've never seen before. So I'm watching it now. That's the beauty of YouTube. One of the beauties of YouTube. Okay, well, I think I'm going to proceed to something else. So I'm going to pull this, pull this. I'm going to draw this to a close. <laughs> Adios. Mm -hmm.